Hi everyone, this is Pradnya and this is my channel Awakening with Pradnya and I welcome you all after almost more than two months now. There is a lot which I want to share with you and I will be uh, very very frequently uploading more videos uh, now onwards. There are so many of you who have been asking me about my next video and I took a little time to upload this video. Thank you for being patient. So today I'm going to talk about what is inner work in Twin Flame journey because many people have been asking. I interact with a lot of Twin Flames on a daily basis and there are a lot of people who are mistaken about this term called inner work. Most of them feel that they have to really sit down on ground, close their eyes and do some sort of a meditation closing their eyes or they have to do some chakra balancing work or some healing work which they call as inner work. But that is not true. Inner work is not related to meditation or healing. Meditation is a spiritual practice. It helps you to balance your chakras, calm your mind. You know, it's a tool. It can help you. Uh, even the healing, if you are healing, if you are feeling better, it helps you to come into more peaceful state or more balanced state. But when it comes to inner work, it is completely different than meditation and healing. Second most important thing is that inner work is not measurable, it is not quantitative. Why I say that? Because Every human being is a different human being. Everybody has gone through different past lives. Everybody is having different emotional issues. Everybody's soul is standing at a different level of understanding altogether. So there is no syllabus as such that, okay, this is your syllabus and everybody who is now on this path has to go uh, through this same process. It's not like that. For every person, for every soul, what sort of inner work you have to do will vary case to case depending upon what you have learned in your past life what you have already learned in this life what more you need to learn to you know transform yourself so it's not quantitative it is not measurable it does not have any particular syllabus now i also want to talk about the most important elements which actually help you to do your inner work first and foremost and most important thing is your mindset <laughs> Because if your mindset is not right, then you cannot really do any sort of work on yourself or anything else. Mindset is the crux of everything. So you need the seeker's mindset that you are ready to learn, you are ready to open your eyes, you are ready to accept certain things and move forward in a positive way. So that mindset of seeking, the mindset of growth, if you are not having that sort of a mindset, it becomes really, really difficult to look into yourself that is one of the most important factor i would say another most important factor is not being able to trust yourself and your gut feeling most of the people i have seen who go to tarot readings and psych readings the main part they are missing in their whole journey is that they are not able to trust their own inner feeling and that is why they are going to some sort of a third party to seek some help but what they are actually not understanding is that the moment they close their inner voice and they stop trusting themselves and start getting to third party all the possibility of getting into the introspection and actually getting into the core uh, part of your soul and seeking answers and understanding the truth that whole path is closed and the moment you close that path there is no way you can do anything so your mindset your ability and your willingness to trust your inner feeling are the most two important things when it comes to inner work <laughs> let's get going with understanding about what exactly this term inner work means so according to me it is a third person consciously observing what is happening inside you 
so you are aware about what emotional issues you are going through you are identifying those emotional issues you are accepting those issues and you are consciously working on those issues and because you have consciously worked on those issues you are well aware about what exactly you have learned in this whole process if you are aware of this whole thing that means you are doing conscious inner work if i really look at inner work it's a very natural process when i started my twin flame journey and i started doing inner work i was not at all aware of this term called twin flame i was not even knowing that i was a twin flame i was on some sort of a spiritual journey but the pain of separation from my twin flame was so much that it triggered that process of um, seeking answers uh, working on myself very naturally so without even knowing the term in a in a work i started doing a lot of inner work and i i'm sure that there are a lot of uh, you who are watching this video right now have been doing inner work it's a very natural process it is happening very naturally your uh, spirit team your higher self is always guiding you towards uh, that process very naturally but it is always better to be aware of it and being able to analyze and being able to learn something from it in simple words if i can say so the first and foremost is your experience i mean the whole twin flame journey everything starts with your experience right like you are experiencing something out of this world and that is why you start seeking uh, answers to your questions the next step after your experience is introspection because you are experiencing something but un unless and until as a third person if you can't observe your own experience you won't be able to really assimilate that experience so that are you able to really go within yourself and introspect about what you are feeling why you are feeling complete dissection of your experience are you able to introspect on your own behavior the kind of experience you are having around you your twin flames behavior are you really introspecting enough if your introspection is consciously happening then the third thing you would be able to do is to identify your internal conflict that what exactly is triggering you what exactly is making you sad what exactly is making you restless what exactly do you want in your life in this connection unless and until you are introspecting and unless and until you are identifying what exactly is lacking or what exactly you want you won't be able to process further so experience introspection identification of your internal emotional issues is the initial uh, stage of inner work once you have identified what are your internal emotional issues you are aware of them that yes i do have these certain emotional issues like for example you are expecting too much out of your twin flame or you are angry with your twin flame or you have a fear of losing your twin flame you are aware of this particular issues and because you are aware of those particular issues it actually gets you on to a different level of understanding that you are aware of yourself you are becoming aware of yourself so you experience you introspect you identify you are becoming aware of what exactly is going on in your mind and then the first and foremost and the most important thing which needs to happen after that is to accept those internal issues most of the time we are stuck at that particular place we are knowing what is happening inside us but we are not able to accept certain things we are not able to accept that we are fearful we are not able to accept that we are angry or we so acceptance is the first step to your spiritual transformation unless and until you accept something you cannot open the door of possibility of overcoming those particular issues so i am again and again repeating these things so you experience a certain thing you introspect about it you identify certain internal issues you are aware of those certain internal issues and then you accept those certain internal issues then once you accept what is the next step you are going to take because okay i accepted that i have a lot of fear inside my heart i fear losing my twin flame what next so the next important step is to set an intent 
you have to set this intent that you are wanting to overcome that issue because unless and until you are intending to overcome it intentionally you won't be able to overcome those issues uh, ever so you have to set that intent set set that feeling or wish or uh, aim inside your heart that oh i'm being too egoistic but i have to work on myself and i have to really work on my ego if you are aware of this and if you are setting this intent in your mind that you have to work on this ego it becomes easy for your subconscious mind also to process it every time you get to that particular issue something will trigger inside you that okay you have to be careful you are really working on this particular aspect because you are getting bigger here you are having lot of conflicts here so you have to work on it so naturally you start being patient you are starting to be uh, more aware of what is happening with you so once you accept your certain internal issues next step is to setting the intent to overcome those issues next step naturally would be to apply what you have set as an intent so if i land up in a situation where my twin flame does not reply me back to my text and i'm getting really sad i'm really getting painful but somewhere i'm aware of my emotions that i expect too much i take things too personally i am in fear of losing him once i'm aware of it and i have set my intent that i want to overcome these issues when the situation comes uh, where i have to literally apply my awareness and my intent i would maybe you know take a step back think that okay he has not replied me right now but i have to work on my expectations let it go for this time you know i have to get better at my responses at my reactions so you start slowly applying your you know what you have set as an intent um, in your journey once you start applying these things slowly it's a slow process it's not going to go uh, change things overnight it can take months or years to uh, really work on these issues and get better and better and overcome certain internal conflicts so it is going to be a process it is it is going to take time that is that is the bottom line so once you repeatedly start applying your intent into your situations somewhere you start developing a knowledge base you you know how how you are actually handling yourself and your internal issues so your applications start turning into your knowledge so you are knowing what what is happening and once you are knowing you if you are in a place of knowing and you are applying that knowledge again and again again and again it actually turns into wisdom you are completely transforming yourself from the person who is vulnerable who is in pain who is imbalanced uh, through this process again and again getting repeated you are coming at a place of balance you are coming at a place of knowledge and eventually it that whole thing is converting into a wisdom where you know you are at peace you are at a balanced stage and you are a peaceful being and because of that you grow as a soul you become mature and it is a unending cycle like when it comes to inner work there is a lot to learn and it is an unending process so once you grow and you come at a certain step well there is another experience waiting for you again you will introspect again you will identify so this circle will go on and on and on but eventually within this process you would see when you look back at yourself that what kind of person you were before and what you are today and this whole process of inner work takes place just because you met your twin flame because if you did not meet your twin flame maybe it would not really trigger you that much it won't really wake you up shake you up and you won't really go out of your way to do things to go through this pain take those challenges which are like really painful no normal human being who wants to live conventional life on earth would want or choose that sort of um, uh, inner work which is actually speaking a lot of times it's very ex- exhausting but you would choose that because there is a certain yearning this whole uh, love for your twin flame becomes a fuel for this uh, journey of your internal work and as you go on you would definitely evolve 
so i don't want to comment upon what happens next after you are actually doing this inner work and once you are coming in balance what happens to the union because for that we will make another video so in this video i only wanted to talk about this inner work which is the most important factor of uh, twin flame journey and it is very important with what sort of attitude you go through this journey and if you are having a seeker's mindset where you look at each and every experience of yours as a third person and are willing to work on bettering it bettering your reactions bettering bettering your responses you will see a different person